the weather outside is frightful, by the fire it's so delightful. In the sense we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. We should talk about December daily, huh? Let's do it. I interrupt my regular family vlogs to present you with my December daily plans, which don't consist of much. I'm gonna go get my stuff. This. Sometimes I have to sing her to sleep. All right, December daily. So um, first I want to say that it is like my favorite project of all projects of all. I wouldn't give this up for the world, which is why I'm crazy enough to try to tackle it whenever I have a one month old. But I'm sure that there are people crazier than me that have done it with newborns, like new newborns. So anyways, um, one of the reasons I really love this, and I will try to show you some of my old books while I'm kind of talking so you don't have to just stare at my face the whole time. Um, one of my favorite things about this project is looking back on my old ones. Um, there's something so, so, so wonderful about sitting around the table um, with my family and pulling out all of my old albums and us just kind of trading them and looking and taking turns, um, you know, looking through all of the different books that I've made over the years. There are some beautiful memories in there. Um, there are some photos that are just completely priceless to us and every year it seems like there's something in one of the books that um, I'm so glad that it's in there. For example, um, we, we're a cat family and um, we've lost quite a few of our kitty cats this past year um, for various reasons and having their pictures in my December daily every single year. I always make a page about my cats and every year um, it's very, it's part of it's heartbreaking but at the same time it just makes us smile ear to ear to see um, our kitties specifically documented in those books. It's nice to see things like year after year Nadia putting the star up on top of our Christmas tree which is one of those really sweet moments for me when I see that Dana lifts her up to stick the star on top. It is just so cute because he's been doing that since she was, uh, I want to say it was her, it wasn't her first Christmas because she was just an itty bitty baby then, um, but it was her second Christmas that she started putting the star on top of our tree. And she's been doing it ever since. And every year you just see her getting bigger and bigger and bigger and taller in his arms. And it's, it's one of those things where I know that this could possibly be the last year that she does it because she is getting big enough where she could probably stand on top of a chair or a stool or something and reach the top of the tree to do it. But seeing her in her daddy's arms year after year in my books just really melts my heart. And it's one of those memories that I'm just really happy that I always take a photo of and capture. So part of the reason why I love doing December Daily is that it makes me feel well, it makes me more intentional about when I pull out my camera and what I document and what stories I tell. And uh, it's just it's just a great, great, great project. I'm so thankful that I was introduced to it, basically, and that I started doing it. So that being said, I am keeping up with it this year. Things will be a little bit different because, you know, I have a little one, so I don't anticipate, you know, these beautiful pages with lots of time put into them. That's not going to happen. So if I could get a, a page done in like 10 minutes or something, that's, that's going to be perfect for me. I'm going to focus more on uh, maybe the quality of the photo that I take or... Um, and the story that I tell that goes along with it. Um, in previous years, I've relied heavily on things like the embellishments and stuff like that just to make it really pop and make the books really pretty. Um, and I remember the stories that go with them, but I don't always have them specifically like written out or something um, in full detail. So I'm thinking this year I'm probably going to um, take a little bit more time to hurry up and jot down the stories specifically. So. 
I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, all that aside, this year I'm going really, really, really crazy simple and I'm using this black, it's kind of like a faux leather album. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a Becky Higgins Project Life album. Six by eight size and just have the a bunch of six by eight page protectors in here. And that's all I've got so far. I don't do foundation pages as some people do to plan ahead um, just to have stuff in there already. Um, part of the reason is, is I'm very picky about what papers I use along with the photos that I take. I get really weird about the colors having to kind of go together. And if they don't, I usually have a lot of black and white photos or I'll convert them to black and white so that I can put it in here. I get like, oh, I get kind of crazy about stuff like that. So I didn't make any foundation pages, which isn't really unusual for me. I always stick stuff in this bag. This is like, it's like my December daily bag where I always just stick things in here. Now I'll fill up all of the pockets with like adhesives and all that stuff. So I won't go over what I'll use there. I generally use the same things. I'll, I'll put adhesives in there. I'll put my little, um, my teeny tiny stapler, my tiny attacher, uh, it's called. So I'll put a little stapler in there because I like stapling things to the pages. I'll have some washi tapes. And um, I like to use my label maker, like one of those old school Dymo label makers. Label maker, tiny attacher. So yeah, so as for the things that I'm going to use, all oh, the fun stuff. So I wasn't, plastic is so loud. I wasn't planning on getting any more Christmas stuff because to be honest, I have like a box of it, like a lot. And I was like, I'm just gonna use up my stash. But then of course, of course, crepe paper, they did it to me again. They get me every single year. Every year I swear, I'm not gonna get any more Christmas stuff because I have enough. And then crepe paper comes out with a collection. I'm just like, heart eyes. So I got suckered in again happily. So I got the Merry Days collection. I didn't get all of it because I didn't really have, they didn't have it. I, I went, I think I looked on scrapbook.com and they didn't have all of it. So I just got some of the stuff that was available that I thought that I would use. And I kind of just had some restraint and I didn't get the things that I was just like, I don't need it. I really just mainly wanted the papers and stickers and stuff. So and of course the ephemera pack. So I got the ephemera pack, which is so crazy, stinking cute. Like there, it comes with all those little cute little designs and stuff. Of course, it's all in here. Ah, seriously can't resist it, like at all. Um, I got the little puffy stickers, which are also really adorable. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. I'm so excited to use them. Um, alphas because I run out of these kind of quickly and I like the font that they use. It has like little curly, curly things on the, on the letters. I have the regular sticker sheet. They're just the flat stickers, but these are adorable. Um, I got some more of these little puffy sticker ones. They're gold and they're, oh, I love them so much. And I have the six by eight paper pad. And um, I just got a couple of these 12 by 12 sheets. I think my idea behind what I'm gonna use in terms of, oops, it's kind of loud. Oh, oh, nope, I'm sorry, I forgot. I also have the buttons. I couldn't resist these either. They're so cute, they're like little fabric buttons. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to use them. So I know people generally watch these videos to get ideas of the foundation pages and stuff and every year I, you know, I, I make one of these videos, or maybe I don't every year, but you know, people want to see foundation pages and I think they come away disappointed because I don't have any and I'm just rambling, but this is how I do it and I just wanna give a, just kind of, an overview of what I think that I will probably do. What I'm thinking of doing is probably making more open pages, punch holes in them, stick them in here, and then slap some photos and some embellishments and things on top, rather than um, measuring out the sizes of how I have to print the photos, specifically in terms of how they put them, in the, how I can put them in the 
pocket pages. Does this make any sense? I don't think I'm making any sense. My point is, is I don't like to measure out exactly, you know, the size of photos and things to stick in the page protectors. So I'm not all about protecting my pages and I have no idea why, but I don't like to always have stuff in the plastic as I'm sure you can see in all of the other books that I've made. Most of them are out on the outside of page protectors. So I'm probably just gonna use the, the papers that I have here, cut them down, put them in there and make it almost a very quick and easy like smash book type of album. We'll see how it goes, but this is basically, these are the supplies that I'm using and I'm going to attempt to keep up with it every single day. And um, I hesitate to call it a December daily this year because I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to be able to keep up with it every single day, but it will at least hold a ton of our memories from this month. So I'm really, really looking forward to, to doing it and I am like dying to start using this paper. Oh my gosh, this paper is so cute. Like some of my favorites, like here's one of my favorites. Um, I love these, these little swans. This one is probably like my absolute favorite from this collection. The little snow globes. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I love that the six by eight paper pad has the foiling, but I also love this one too. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the Santas. I'm not even usually a big like, oh, the Santas are cute, so I have to have Santa stuff. Like, But these Santas are stinking cute. I love them. I'm I'm really excited to use it. So that's it. I know that I had um, some people ask me if I was gonna do it this year and the answer is a definite yes. <laughs> As for the cover of this book, I'm not gonna keep it just plain black cause that's just way too boring for me. And I like to add stuff to the front of it. I forgot the chipboard, the stinking chipboard. You have to have the chipboard, right? My idea for the cover of this is that I'm going to layer some paper on top of some design, I'm not sure what yet, and then probably put one of the chipboard stickers on it. Um, I keep my December album separate from the rest of mine, so they're not just like shoved on a bookshelf. They tend to not get take as much abuse, I guess, <laughs> by being pulled on and off a shelf. They, I usually just bring them out around Christmas and then we just look back on them then. So I don't mind putting stuff on the front cover of those. I don't know, those are my plans, that's it. Sorry that I don't have much more to say, but I did just wanna give a heads up and answer some questions and let me know if you do have any other questions. I don't think that there's probably much to ask in terms of you know this video, but I will be back to um, probably maybe go through the week. I might keep up with the video like once a week to, to share my book because you know I like to ramble and tell my stories and stuff and it seems a little bit easier to do it one week at a time rather than all at once and make a hour long video out of the whole thing. So yeah, I'll be back and I'm really excited to start and let me know what you're using. I would love to hear your ideas too and if you make December daily albums, chances are good I've probably already watched your videos because while I'm like nursing or something, <laughs> in the middle of the night. Um, I'll like binge watch some December daily videos and it's it's been super fun. So, okay, I will be back uh, whenever, whenever we get started. So happy December daily season, everybody. And I will catch you later. Bye. Oop, poop. <laughs> Smell that.